Hey everybody, welcome to Onus Girls. Come on, reviews on my pause. Welcome, thank you for tuning in. All right, so um, this real quick, this is very different. This is a um, a foundation review, um, women of color friendly. And before we get into the video, I just want to show you what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna go up close and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It is um, 10 13 now. I got off work at nine o'clock, so I just popped in to do this part of the video before I touched myself up. So as you guys can see here, I am a little shiny here, just a little bit here, and my chin here, just a little bit, you know, it is hot. So just to give you guys to see what time it is. Okay, so it's 10, 13 p.m. So this is what my face is looking like. So this is the T-zone area, um, my smile line trying to come through, but I'll get more into that, That's that's nothing. But that's it. So keep in mind that my face is very dry. I will get into that in a minute. Um, and plus it's hot in my room and I'm trying to get through these videos because it is extremely hot in here. I live upstairs. So yeah, so as you guys can see here. So I will be back and then um, I'm going to touch up everything. And so I can have like a basically a fresh face so I can finish the rest of the review. But I just want to pop on here and show you guys what it looks like. And I did do my makeup at, I was done with everything, 11.30, 12 o'clock um p.m early afternoon late um, morning so and i had to be to work at one o'clock so this is what it's looking like um after work hours okay so that long and it's still holding up that's good right so yes yeah, so let's get into this video and i'll be right back all right so we're back nice and freshened up and we look like you know um nice and freshened up okay all right so that's basically about that all right so let's just get into it okay so this is the matte poreless maybelline this is the maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation, and this is normal to oil, oily for for normal to oily skin. Okay, so this is my first time doing a foundation review, so I just want to make sure I be very thorough. So this is not a first impressions. I basically stopped doing that on my channel, so yeah. So I just want to give you guys a very very honest honest review, and that I've been you know using this for a while, and I've got uh you know the from the best of both seasons um in the winter time and now. I'm wearing the summertime so I, I can give you guys you know an all-around deal of what it is so hopefully this video is not too long if it is I really apologize but again you guys know I'm very thorough so I need to you know be thorough with you guys okay so yeah so let's get into this hopefully I'm not all over the place because yeah this is my first foundation review so yeah so this is a women of color friendly um foundation okay and this is the coconut 355 now i was using spicy brown i forgot the number for that but um it was a little like a shade lighter so i was just like you know what it was like a little bit too light for me this was just a little tad so i got the coconut and i was like yeah this this is good for me um and i mean i may try another shade like a, a darker shade than this i don't know but this is what i've been using for a long time um a lot of people i've been getting a lot of compliments i got compliments today so a lot of people always ask me a lot of people say you make it look nice look flawless this and that and I'm like, this is the Maybelline, okay? Um, no high-end, this is drugstore, okay? Just keep that in mind as well. All right, so let's just get into it. First, we're going to talk about the packaging. All right, the packaging is um, like this, okay? It is a glass type deal um the way it looks here and it's a twist off cap as you guys can see and um there's no pump so a lot of people have been complaining because there isn't a pump on there to me it doesn't it doesn't bother me okay i'll still continue to buy this even if the even if maybelline company does not put the pump on there i'm still going to buy it i mean i it's not going to make or break my decision okay it's cool without the pump and they put a pump on it's fine but yeah whatever so that's cool so packaging is fine with me you know i, I have no problem with that um, so let's just get into it. So as far as the makeup and putting it on, um, I have not, you know, when I put it on, I put it on with a beauty blender and a lot of people probably like, Oh, but the beauty blender takes off the makeup and, you know, takes off some of the products, whatever like that. That's fine with me because I don't want a lot of product on my face anyway, because you know, my skin is kind of sensitive a little bit. So, you know, um, I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't need all that. And plus I don't need that much coverage because I don't have like, you know, acne scars and blemishes and stuff like that. You know, thank God. Um, I'm blessed with, you know, skin that I have, haven't had a problem with as far as my face is concerned. You know, I a little pimple hand there you know when it's you know time of the month but other than that you know that's it so um yeah i haven't had any bad reactions rashes or anything of that sort i was scared of that because i was like oh i'm putting on this 
you know, product on my face and I don't know if it's going to react well on my face and I don't, you know, this is my first time wearing makeup and stuff like that. So it's been doing pretty good, pretty, pretty well. And plus I always prep my face before I put my foundation on. So I always moisturize my, I wash my face, cleanse it, um, moisturize it and then put a primer and then I put my foundation. So if you guys want to see that full step routine or full foundation routine, you can definitely let me know and I definitely will do it. But I basically prepare my face, you know, um, correctly so I can avoid all of that, okay? And so that my makeup could, you know, go on seamlessly. Um, so that's it about that. So, yeah, so let's get into the consistency. The consistency, a lot of people always, you know, a lot of people complain about the consistency as far as, like, it's a little bit watery, but that's fine with me. It's not, you know, watery, watery, but it's not thick either. So it's like, it is movable. It does move around a lot, and um, so that's basically about that. But, you know, um, you can basically say if you're really concerned about, you know, trying to get the product on, you don't want to put on your hand, just pour it into the cup. Like, I just thought about that just now. Like, I thought about it like, wait a minute. You just pour it into the cup and then pour little by little and see what I like that and then dip it onto your hand or whatever like that. Because sometimes when you put it on your hand... You know, it'd be moving around and stuff like that. So a lot of people get a little bit discouraged, you know, about that. And I understand, especially for a beginner, you get discouraged. Because when I did that, I was like, oh, my goodness. I, I made a mistake and put too much. So it's very understandable. But then after a while, you get used to it and it's okay. And it's just like after that, you're like basically a pro at putting it on the back of your hand and putting it on your face. Um, when I apply it, I will have a video flowing around on how I apply it. Um, You guys seen it plenty of times on my Get Ready With Me's and my face, you know, my makeup of the days and stuff. Not makeup of the days, but my makeup tutorials. You guys see how I put it on my face and you know I just put it on and um you know I dyed it around and I don't put that much because again I don't want to put that much foundation on my face I don't want to put that much product and then I try to aim for like my under eyes because of the dark circles so um I just put it on you know and and it does dry quickly so you have to hurry up you know and I'm always I'm fast with it because um the reason being is because I'm always rushing to go somewhere, y'all. I'm always rushing. I'm rushing to praise dance. I'm rushing to work. I'm rushing. So that's not good. But <laughs> um, even if I'm not rushing, I'm still going faster like that. Some people do in the sections. But again, it's like, you know, whatever, whatever. So with the Beauty Blender, I use with the Beauty Blender. I don't think I've used it with a brush before, but I really don't like, you know, using brushes to put my foundation on. But that's a whole other video. But anyway, I digress. Um, I use a Beauty Blender, and if, the, if it comes off, it comes off. That's fine with me. I really don't care because I really don't want so much product on my face anyway and that's basically about that so I'm cool with that so I put it on and make sure everything is even and it's cool so I was scared because I was looking like a oompa loompa it was orange and I was like uh what's going on and then I saw it slowly oxidize and I was like oh that's what's up so um it was cool with that I was cool with that so so I really like this product a lot like I would definitely recommend this like would I purchase this product again yes I believe it's like seven or eight dollars I believe um, I'm not sure you can purchase it from CVS um, you can purchase it from Walgreens, you can purchase it from Rite Aid, Walmart, um, you know, whatever the case is, you can order it offline, um, whatever your budget allows you to, because, you know, the price does varies from store to store and probably even state to state. So just keep that in mind. So that's basically about that, but it's very affordable. It's on the ground and stuff like that. So I really do recommend this as far as it is sheer or is it's not sheer it's medium coverage. Okay. It's not totally fully coverage. So if you're looking for the full, full coverage, um, I don't know, this could be it, but, you know, if you're working with other products, then it can work because I, you know, I don't really want a full, full coverage. The medium coverage is fine, and it is buildable, so you can really build it up if you want to. If you really want to, you can build it up, so it's cool because I used to use more foundation than you saw me in the video. I used to use a little bit more and then build it up like that. You know, you do use little by little, and it depends upon your preference and stuff like that, so that's basically about that. Um, I'll give it, like, five stars. I really recommend this product, especially if you are a beginner at makeup. Like, if you're a beginner at makeup, this should be one of your one of the first choices that you make for foundation. So if you just want to try three foundations, this should be one of the three foundations that you should try out the drugstore, okay? And um, to be honest, like, I haven't tried any higher-end foundations, but this could be, like, kind of up there with the higher ends, you know? Most of the higher ends are probably like $140, $50, you know, whatever, $30. You know, if Maybelline was to make this $20, whatever like that, I wouldn't be mad at them. Not saying, yeah, shut up, but, you know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's that quality, okay, because, you know, it's a good quality for it to be a drugstore product. And I have nothing against drugstore products because I 
most of my makeup is drugstore products, okay? So, are very affordable products, if you will. So, yeah, so that's basically it about that. So, yeah, so um, when Maybelline first came out, I don't think they had a lot of colors for women of color, but now they do. And I think they have another shade, a new shade that's out as well. I believe it's a darker color, I'm not sure. But that's basically about that. So, yeah, so the pros is that it's on the ground. It's easily accessible, you know, for you. Um, you can always find it. Um, they have, you know, a variety of shades now. And, um, you know, that's basically it. And affordable pricing and things of that nature. Um, the cons, there's no cons to me. Like, you know, no cons. Like I said, like, as far as the pump is concerned, you know, if they do put a pump, I, I'm still going to buy it either way. If they don't, they do, or whatever like that. But you got to keep in mind, they may have to raise the price because they're putting, you know, some new things to it. So just keep that in mind. You know, they may raise it $2, $3, whatever like that. So, um, yeah, because, you know, they do watch our videos and they do see what they can do and stuff like that so i mean just be prepared for that you know just saying but anyway by you know by putting the pump or by not putting the pump on it i mean it doesn't doesn't make a difference for me like I, i'll still buy it anyway so that's basically about that um would i recommend this product yes i said that um how many stars five consistency um it is a little bit watery it's okay but you know and again you don't want it too thick because if you're wearing it in the summertime you know, you don't want all that on your face. And also, it's very lightweight. It's very lightweight. I don't I don't even feel it on my face. Like, I don't feel anything on my face. I feel like my face is just very fresh. Like, in the morning time, it's, like, so light. I don't even know what's on. So, it's very lightweight. It's very fresh. And it doesn't make my face dry, okay? My face is very dry. I have a very dry face. Um... <laughs> I drive the Sahara Desert, but it, my oils do peek through, but um, it doesn't peek through as, you know, most people that have oily, oily skin, but it's very dry. Like, when I come out the shower, after I wash my face, I wash my face with a charcoal bar. The first thing I have to do is put moisture on my face. If I don't, I'm going to cry, and, um, you know, I'm going to feel like my face is cracking before my eyes and falling off my face, and, you know, like, <laughs> that's what it would feel like. So I have to put some moisturization on my face. I have to. I have to. If I don't, it's a disaster plan. So that's how dry my face is. So I, my face is probably 90% dry and the 5% is the oils. Because I do produce oils, as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. But other than that, yeah. So that's basically about that. Um, what else? See, I don't want to keep you guys long because I'm just just really, like, going into detail with it. Because I want you guys to really feel what this foundation is. And I know there are a lot of people that have reviewed this. I know I'm late to the party or whatever. But I'm also just now getting into makeup, too. So that's why I'm late to the party. I'm, like, way late to the party. But that's basically about that. But... I do like it. It goes on easily. Um, it's, you know, lightweight. Um, I don't feel it on my face. Um, it's not itchy. It's not scratchy. Um, and that's it. I hope I covered everything um, because I just want to, you know, cover all the bases and make sure that I'm, you know, giving you the good details of the foundation. So, but if you have any other additional questions, you can definitely ask me. Um, and that's it. I will purchase it again. I have purchased it plenty of times already. I've used it plenty of times already. And um, that's it. So I really do like it a lot, you know. And as far as it melting and separating, it doesn't do that. Like I said before with the small lines. But uh, I have used three foundations and that has done, that has it's been doing that for the longest. So that's not even foundation error, okay. So I shouldn't even say that anyway. But just to let you guys know. But it doesn't, you know, crinkle up or anything like that, you know. And it depends on what type of technique that you use when you put your makeup on. You know, what type of prepping that you do prior to. And the products that I use with this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation works very well with it. And I'm very glad about that because, you know, sometimes products don't work well together and you get a reaction or it's just like it don't come out looking right. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically about that. But, yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm done. I don't want to take you too long, but I, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to keep the video too long, but I basically did. But I hope I covered all areas. Um, I will get better with these foundation reviews. But, yeah, that's basically about that. So I really do like this a lot. Um, I and, and, oh, also, it's safe. To say that this is a great everyday foundation okay great everyday lightweight foundation okay so that's it so if you're into the drugstore affordable you know uh, foundations definitely go check this out and see for yourself because that's the only way you're gonna know if it's gonna work for you or not you know and you base your you know your decision off of that or whatever like that so it depends so what works for me may not work for you and vice versa I like to say that because you know a lot of people want to come back to the L and Marquita said I 
know what I said, but at the same time, you know, um, everybody has a different texture of face. Everybody has different oils coming out. Everybody is very different in every, each and every unique way. Okay. So that's basically about that. So let me get out of here, you guys. Um, that's it. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, we know that. Ask, ask, comment, comment, advance, mark, at gmail.com. Definitely go to your drugstore and buy this like today tonight tomorrow whenever you're out just remember this video that uh, marquita said 